So we've taken both horns off the car and uh, one of them works fine and the other one doesn't seem to work. One of them had its uh, terminals broken um, but that's easily repaired, that's just a quick solder joint. However, even on the terminals it doesn't seem to work. So what we've done is we've removed the rivets from the outside, just ground them off um, and then separated it to see exactly what's inside and what's gone wrong. So we've got this uh, diaphragm that uh, clearly vibrates. It's uh, a magnetic uh, field that actually, it's a bit like a speaker really, that uh, just causes it to, um, to, to produce the noise. And as the power goes through the coil, there's a little, um, uh, like a relay unit here, which uh, as the the magnetic field is built up and built up and the magnet is pulled down, it actually disconnects it. And then as that field disconnects, it then comes back and reconnects. And that's what causes the vibration. And on this particular unit, the relay has um, built up a bit of a carbon deposit. And that's what stopped it working because we had no, between the two terminals, we had no resistance whatsoever. Uh, like I say, uh, until we opened it, we were completely unsure as to how it works. And the screw on the back here clearly just um, operates the tone of the uh, of the horn, so that that can actually be changed. So what we're going to try and do now is clean up these parts. We've already cleaned up the relay. We've actually got it to to vibrate again. Obviously, in pieces, it doesn't make the right sound at all. But we're going to pop some stainless M3 screws in here and uh, see if we can get it back up and running again. The um, there are some there is a like a a gasket on here. On this one is actually saved. With this one's not so bad at all. The one on the other side is completely perished. However, there's no electrical insulation between any of this. Um, because the rivets that go through could quite easily touch this diaphragm, so that makes no difference whatsoever. So theoretically, um, we might make a paper um, diaphragm to go around the outside of this, or maybe a, something slightly thicker than, than paper, and uh, pop it back together again, put some M3 screws in, come back, see if it's still working. So we fitted the M3 screws around the outside, which ideally could be M4, we'd have to drill them slightly, so I think that's what we're going to do, is uh, uh, take these out and actually put in M4 screws. Um, but it does mean that we can sandblast this whole unit, um, and then strip it down, get any sand out that's got into places that we don't want it to be, which we, we just put some rubber in the actual front part of it, um, and we can get this cleaned up really nicely. Um, so just to prove that the repair actually works, I'm going to press the terminal on now. There you have it. So to repair the terminals, what I managed to find, I found a, an old socket that I had um, and it's got three of these spade terminals on there which is just enough to repair the three missing terminals. So we're going to solder those on now. So now we've got the four terminals back on again, um, four terminals in each one. Um, we're going to grind the rivets off the other one and um, separate it as we did this one and then we're going to spray the parts separately and then put them back together again. So I've separated the front and rear of the horn and they've all been painted up and we've got the two diaphragms there which have actually been um, cleaned up as best they can. Um, they're probably just spring steel but I've coated them in WD-40 so when we come to put it back together again they'll, um, they're less likely to rust anymore. And here's the gasket paper that we've used. We've just uh, drawn a couple of shapes on there to uh, replicate the gasket that we need to build to put the horn back together again. So here are my two uh, gaskets and uh, it's just about uh, reassembling them now so I'll do that right away. Now that we've finished assembling them we can just give a quick demonstration of first of all the low one and then the real rebuilt high version. <laughs> 